Drama as Senate rejects Armed Forces Service Commission Bill. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. It's so good to have you guys back here again. And thank you once again for all you do for this channel. God bless you. We really appreciate you. Do not take your support for granted. We pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, my people, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. This one is a breaking news. It has just dropped now. There's, uh, there's been a, a drama um, in the House of Assembly. The root cause of this drama is that uh, um, they are trying to pass a bill to see how the armed forces um, service will be regulated. To know the sort of competent persons to be in charge, um, the service chiefs, those who are going to be uh, part of the service chiefs. And then um, if they are not acting accord accordingly, if they are not um, performing properly, then they have to be shown the door. Right now, the report we are getting is that it's quite shocking. The house has been turned into two. Some are, are accepting it, some are turning it down. We know very well that uh, this, uh, the House of Assembly, these guys, they all behave as though, uh, as people who are, they are not independent. They are, they are actually doing President Muhammad Buhari's bid. They are not, they are not uh, speaking for the people. That is the way I would put it. They are lawmakers who are meant to be the voice of the people, who are supposed to be passing out bills that will favor the people, that will be the interest, will be in the interest of the people. But all we've been seeing so far, it's not the case. It's not the case. They are all seeking their personal interest and also the interest of um, their paymaster, President Muhammad Buhari, is so unfortunate and is very sad. This one has just dropped. We'll bring you all the details, all that has just transpired um, in, in, the, in the Senate. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Also, press that bell, my people. Press on the notification bell until it turns gray. God bless you. Yes, we'll get into the news now and grab all of the details. A little drama played out during Senate plenary on Wednesday when a bill for an act to provide for the establishment of Armed Forces Service Commission was rejected by the lawmakers after a heated debate that forced them into a closed session. The bill, which was sponsored by Senate Minority Leader Enyanaya Abaribe, PDP, Abia, seeks to get the National Assembly to give effect to the clear provisions of Section 219 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, to establish a body that shall comprise such members as the National Assembly may determine, and we shall have power to ensure that the composition of the armed forces of the Federation reflects federal character of Nigeria in the manner prescribed by Section 217 of the Constitution. It also seeks to recommend to the President the best and most qualified of the Armed Forces of the Federation for appointment as service chiefs and as well as their removal on grounds of misconduct. While some lawmakers supported the bill, majority rejected it on grounds that it offends the Constitution. These guys, they are not working in the interest of the people. How can they say this um, offends the, um, the, the, uh, uh, the Constitution? How does it offend the Constitution? What this, uh, um, this bill is seeking is seeking that um, a body should be created. Yes, let a body be created and let them be responsible for uh, um, appointing, nominating. Because right now, this is left to the president. We recall that recently that um, the service chiefs were fired. Were they fired at the appropriate time? They were not. So imagine if there was a body that looks after that. As soon as it's been noticed that these guys are not functioning properly, they are not performing because it was under their nose that this insecurity rose up to the level where we are now. It's under their nose. They were doing nothing. Borotai was not doing anything. So if that body exists, then we'll be able to um, um, see um, um, that these guys are not functioning. They have to be shown the door without the president's influence. The president, President Muhammad Buhari, should not um, have any say in that. And guys, like I stated, the, the house, <laughs> they, are, uh, they are loyalists to President Muhammad Buhari. That is the way I see it. Because if we check the numbers of persons that have kicked against this thing, then they are, are all part of the All Progressive Congress. Because uh, um, uh, it, it was PDP. It was that uh, this bill was sponsored by um, a Senate minority leader in the person of Abaribe, PDP Abia. And he's the one seeking for all of this. That's 
they should pass a bill that this is what should be done. When um, the service chiefs were not performing very well, Nigerians started calling out, not just Nigerian, prominent politicians as well, that the service chiefs should be fired. It took almost forever before uh, President Mohamed Buhari finally gave the announcement that, um, yes, um, the service chiefs, um, they've been sacked and they've been shown the way out. But um, sadly, the ones that he replaced them with, are we to expect anything? I, because we can't even feel their effect, what they are doing right now. It looks as though it's the same service chiefs that we still have. We can't see any difference because they were all appointed by President Mohamed Buhari. And if we remember again, on the day they were appointed, that they were all shown to Nigerians, Buhari made a comment. I don't know if Nigerians took that seriously. <laughs> Buhari stated, he was telling them, he was telling the service chiefs, for real, he was telling them that you guys have to be loyal to me. That is such a shame. How could he say such a thing? And no one even queried that. He said, he told the service chiefs that they will be loyal to him. So meaning that they will not be loyal to the country. Meaning that if um, the country is, is burning, if the country is coming down, the crisis is rising, they, and Buhari tells them, don't move. It means they cannot move. We see the crisis, the crisis that um, uh, um, ensued in the southwest, the Fulani headsmen crisis and farmer clash. A lot of people died though. It's not like it's just some sort of crisis. This one, it led to the loss of life and it's still leading. It's not like we, are, we have passed it. We haven't passed it. That crisis is still ongoing. And then um, these service chiefs, they, they've not done anything. They've not risen up to anything. No wonder uh, um, T.Y. Danjuma was telling Nigerians one time, a couple of weeks ago, we did report that news here at Peak Media. He was stating that um, Nigerians, they are better start making plans to defend themselves. That this military, they are not ready to take any action. That is the new service chief we have now under the uh, uh, leadership of Atiharu. That they are not ready to take any action. T.Y. Danjuma is a former major general. He knows the rules of engagement. He knows if these guys are ready to take action, if they are ready to move. He was telling Nigerians that these people, they are not doing anything. So I'm really, it's so sad that they are kicking against this bill. And uh, because of um, the drama that ensued, they had to close the session. The session had to end. So sad. All of these Buhari loyalists, we know very well that this Senate is controlled by Buhari. Is he Ahmed Lawan? How many times has he kicked against um, anything that uh, President Mohamed Buhari puts for, um, before him? Before this crisis rose up to this stage where we are now, it was seen it. They, they asked um, President Mohamed Buhari to appear before the house. They called him that he needs to appear. But Buhari stated that uh, he was going to come. Yeah, that was his first response. Later on, they changed it that um, it's unconstitutional, it's illegal, it's not. They gave it different names. Presidency gave it different names that Buhari was not turning up. What was he supposed to come and do? Just come and explain to Nigerians. Tell them your strategy, what you have in place to curb this insecurity, this banditry. Buhari refused and the house could not do anything. This house that we have, are they people that can impeach President Mohamed Buhari? They can't even do anything. It's very sad. So my people, this one is a breaking news. I don't know how this one will go because the section just closed. I don't know if they continue. If they open again, if they open the session again, if they open, if they are going to carry on. But definitely this minority leader from um, Abia, uh, PDP chapter, has kicked against it. And uh, some a lot of person, the majority, it was stated, uh, the ones kicking against it, why a few are supporting this bill to be passed. This is something that will move the country forward, but sadly they are claiming that uh, it's something that offends the constitution. Well, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates, bye for now and God bless.